Hello and welcome back guys. All right, so I, some news, uh, my channel just got monetized, uh, which is great news for me. And so you can help out the channel by not skipping those annoying ads. So I know the ads can be annoying, but uh, just think of it as helping the channel out. And if you have uh, enough to support me on Patreon, that would be awesome. Uh, the link will be in the description. All right, so moving on, let's continue with our chat uh, application. So, so far uh, we've, we can log in and let's try to log out here because last time we, we did something, we um, unintentionally created one more problem, which I'm going to show you right now so we can solve it. So let me go here and click uh, log out. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure I want to log out. So right here, if you want to sign up, the problem is on the sign up page, but how do we get to the sign up right now? Uh, we don't have a button that's showing in case you want to sign up. So let's fix that right now by going to our folder. So make sure uh, your server is running, of course. And uh, let me go to the login page right here and open it in my text editor. So if I go down here where there's a button for where is that button anyway? So that's the submit button right there. So I could go here below the form and I can add something else here. So let me put a break tag over here. And then I'm going to say, uh, I don't want this to be a button to distract from the actual login button. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to put a link there. So I'm going to put an A tag like this. Sorry about that, A tag like so okay and then i am going to put uh, some text so we're going to say don't have an account question mark uh sign up something like here. sign up here or something of that sort that should be don't right there. So let me zoom in so you can see clearly what I'm doing. Let me uh, save this and let's refresh our page and see what we have. Okay, so don't have an account, sign up here. But uh, we want it to be a little bit centered. So what we will do is, let me add a few styles right here. I'm just going to say display block so that this acts like, um, this acts like a, a div. And then I'm going to say text align uh center so text align center something like so so this should be able to center our text like that so if i don't put block here let me remove the block here uh, it won't work because this is an inline as a default unless if this was a div it would work all right so here we're going to give an href to the sign up page okay so we're going to say sign up uh, dot PHP, something like that, because that's our page name. It's not a capital S. So capitalization is very important on your file names, especially when you're dealing with the Linux uh, system, because most uh, systems on the internet are Linux. So they cause problems when you uh, try to access a file with a capital letter and you're trying to get one with a small letter. On Windows, it doesn't matter. It's going to work, but on Linux, it doesn't. So it's better to be careful with your capitalization. So let me click here and we go to our sign up page. Awesome. All right. So, and just a note here, if you don't like the underline here, underneath here, you can actually say, uh, you can put text decoration and set it to none. Let me see if that actually works. Let's go back here and, ah, so you see, there's no underlining there, even though it's a link. So that's how you get rid of that. So let me remove the word wrap here so it doesn't wrap around. All right, save. Click there and we're on the sign up. So the problem that we've caused here is because of uh, the issue we're dealing with last time. If I click sign up here, uh, it's just going to say undefined. And this is because in our api.php right here, at this point where we are asking these questions, we, we, we are only, this if statement here, we are only uh, asking it to, to not go through here if this is the login page, but we have to do the same for the sign up page. Those two pages are special. 
So we have to skip those for this part right here. So what I need to do is simply copy, select this part right here, press Control Shift D to duplicate, or of course the word wrap should be off. And then I have to change this to sign up. Sign up uh, like so. All right. So that should solve the problem. So now if I come back here and refresh this page and click there, I get my errors quite all right here. All right. So this is good. Now, because we need to have uh, multiple users on this thing, we're going to sign up uh, two more different users just so we can have people to chat with. All right. So here I'm going to start with uh, a username Mary, something like so. So and then I'm going to say Mary at yahoo.com yeah because everybody's on yahoo female and then i'm going to put a password exactly password something like that for testing purposes password and then i'm going to hit uh, sign up and right here it's telling me i have signed up so now i can log in but i want to create one more account so i'll go back here and i'm going to say uh, Mary and uh, who's the next one I could say John something like this and say John at yahoo.com sorry dot com and of course this one is male and we will use the same password for simplicity so I'm going to say password and down here as well password all righty so let me hit the sign up button right there. Sign up. Okay, so the same thing we did here for sign up, we can, for the login here, we can do the same for the sign up. So if I click uh, sign up here, somebody might want to log in uh, just in case they already signed up and ended up here by mistake. So we're going to copy this part where we created the don't have an account. And let me go back to my folder and I'm going to get the sign up.php page come down here and just after our button I am going to add this info so here we're going to link to the uh, instead of the sign up to the login.php so I'm going to say login.php and we're going to ask already have an account already have an account login here login here something like so so if I refresh now, I have that. So I can go to my login page instead and go to my sign up page like this. All right, so we're making a great progress so far. So let me log in as myself here and I will put my password, of course, and hit login and we are logged in. Awesome, okay. So now what we want to do is begin to populate this area with the content that we want, okay? And now how we're going to do this, of course, is to first uh, create the static version of what we want to see and then convert that into a dynamic version. All right, so we're going to do that in the next video.